All new at 6 tonight, it is a close call, all caught on video. You're about to watch an accused drunk driver nearly hitting a tow truck driver. Now take a look. A local tow company just released this dash cam video to show how dangerous this job can be out there. And as 7 Eyewitness News reporter Hannah Bueller shows us tonight, the video also serves as a very important life-saving reminder for all drivers. It's 3 o'clock Monday morning. It's raining, and Rosiniac's tow truck driver, Michael Hafner, is helping a stranded motorist on the side of the thruway. He sees a car speeding toward him and not moving over. I saw him get close. I turned around and ran at that point. When this happens, the car hits the bed of the truck, then goes airborne when it flips and lands upside down. But it was enough for him to ride up the edge of my deck and then glance off of it and basically do a barrel roll off the side. Hafner says the car just missed him. I heard the impact and I turned around and I saw him basically rolling and um, side by side and kind of spinning at the same time. New York State Police say the driver of the car, 42-year-old Keith Naylor, was driving drunk at the time. He's now charged with DWI. You're out there at 3 o'clock in the morning by yourself trying to help somebody. Uh, you got to worry about people falling asleep, distracted driving, and people drinking and driving at 3 in the morning, and you're out there all by yourself, you know. Joe Asciutto is the general manager of Rosiniac's. He posted this video to the business's Facebook page to highlight the dangers his employees face when drivers are distracted or drunk. You can only do so much, just like he was doing. He was on the side of the road. You know, doing everything he could do. His lights were on, you know, he had his vest on. Hafner says he's lucky he wasn't hit and no one was seriously hurt. But he wants to make sure drivers understand the dangers workers like him face each and every day. Please pay attention. Uh, you know, slow down, move over. And then uh, another big one would be don't drink and drive. And state police say this is Keith Naylor's second felony DWI within the last 10 years. They say in addition to driving drunk, Naylor also had open containers in the car, and he was also charged under New York State's move-over law. We're live in the newsroom tonight. Hannah Bueller, 7 Eyewitness News.